Hello, magandang araw po. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're gonna make a simple sauce, a uh, cheesy sauce. Um, it's um, Pinoy bechamel or bechamel um, sauce, na uh, keto style. All right, enjoy. This is the um, cheesy sauce um, that's usually top sa mga lasagna, um, baked mac, spaghetti, um, nachos, ganyan. So this cheese is very versatile. So I hope that you will like this recipe. Thanks. We're gonna use our almond milk or pwede rin coconut milk. It's up to you or coconut cream. Just uh, watch for the carbs. Um, we will have our whipping cream. Um, so, meron namang Filipino version ng whipping cream, magnolia, and our cheddar cheese, or Eden, kung anong cheese meron kayo. Then, um, we also have um, Philadelphia cream cheese, or cream cheese, but this is optional. Cream cheese is optional. Nasa nyo kung gusto nyo gumamit ng cream cheese. Okay, for our milk, we will need one cup milk. Pwede kayong gumamit, just like what I said, almond milk or coconut milk. Pwede rin um, coconut cream. Okay, for our whipping cream, uh, we're gonna need half a cup of whipping cream. And for our cream cheese, which uh, is optional, optional they're optional um, we only need two ounces or one fourth um, cream cheese na yan. thank you Then for our cheddar cheese, uh, we will need two cups of uh, cheddar cheese. Okay, let's add some salt. Another optional ingredient is nutmeg. Pero nagpapasarap po talaga ang nutmeg. <laughs> so just, um, meron pong nabibilimbong nutmeg or merong ground nutmeg. Okay, let's start cooking. Hinaan lang po natin ng apoy kasi um, delikado pong masunog yung cheese natin. Alright, uh, check po natin yung cheese. Kung kulang po siya sa color, pwede po natin siya lagyan ng aswete or aswete oil.
Ayan, every now and then, kailangan po natin siyang i-mix and make sure na walang nasusunog sa baba. And also, tingnan din natin kung malapot na yung consistency niya. Alright, ito po ang ating pampalapot. We will need 1 tablespoon of coconut flour. I-mix lang natin sa tubig bago natin siya i-add sa ating cheese para hindi po siya magbuubo. Okay, make sure na i-mix po natin siyang mabuti para maluto po at mamix po yung ating coconut flour. Also, tikman din po natin siya to make sure na tama yung alat. Okay, ayan po. After um, adding the coconut flour, mga 5 minutes mong hintay ko, uh, simmering, um, makikita po ninyo nagkakot na po yung spoon sa ating sauce. So that means it's very thick na po and it's ready. Alright, enjoy! Okay po, here is our finished product. Our Pinoy version of the bechamel or bechamel sauce. Um, as you can see, it's very thick. And you can also put it in the blender po para mas maging smooth yung cheese nyo. So yan po siya, it yields about 2 cups of cheesy yummy goodness. Alright! Nananuta po, sesela na kamo. Tara, let's use it! on our favorite dishes. Okay po, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright po, till next time, God bless. Ingat po kayo, binabago po tayo ni Lord araw-araw. That is, if we will let Him. Ingat!